Are you tired of the cold weather yet? Well, even though Groundhog Day isn't that far behind us, it's not this guy that we should be blaming for a recent cold weather pattern. It's actually negativity. To be more specific, it's a negative reading of the Arctic Oscillation. The Arctic Oscillation is one of those weather patterns we talk about with the winter outlook each year. It highlights shifts in features of the polar vortex and can play a big role in how our winter weather plays out. When the Arctic Oscillation is positive, the jet stream stays north. This keeps the frigid temperatures bottled up in Canada and in the Arctic regions. Now, when the Arctic Oscillation goes negative, the jet stream becomes more wavy. The result is some of that Arctic air from the polar vortex surging south into the U.S. This graph from the Climate Prediction Center shows the index went negative in December. Recently, it's gone almost to the bottom of the chart, and this is part of the reason we have been so cold for an unusually long period of time. The red portion of the graph is the forecast, which does show some improvement later in the month. With little change in the pattern, though, we can expect our afternoon highs to run closer to our average lows for this time of year, and that's at their warmest. The outlook from the Climate Prediction Center keeps the bullseye of below average temperatures near central Indiana through at least February 24th. So does all this cold air already have you thinking warm thoughts? The good news is that spring is just over a month away. Hopefully we don't have to wait that long to thaw out. Working for you, I'm WRTV Storm Team Meteorologist Kyle Mounts.